You are not alone. Brought to you by NAMI Utah. Hey, thanks for being with us. Uh, we're the executive director from NAMI. Uh, Rob, thank you for joining us. It, it's, it, these are heavy topics that we're talking about. Let's just, talk, let's just say that. But I think they're very important. Obviously, you think it's important because we're here. And, and the word schizophrenia, right? Uh, if I could just tell you, the way I experience this word, I've seen it in movies, I've seen it in sitcoms, and it's usually some kind of either it's a comical relief or they use it. But it, I know it's a serious problem. So in my head, the way I think about schizophrenia is that it's this horrible disease and that nobody really understands how to treat it. Can you please shed some light on this for us, Rob? Sure, I'll, I think I'll jump in with one piece. Nobody understands it. I think that might be fair to say that we don't understand it. It's one of the most, um, uh, it, it's one of the least common mental illnesses, let's put it that way. And so I think unfortunately there is a lot of stigma attached directly yeah. to this. Um, you know, one thing we want to say, uh, about half a percent of the population is afflicted with, with schizophrenia is diagnosed with this. So if you think about it in Utah, that's approximately 20 to 30,000 individuals. It's not a common illness. Now, what about some of the symptoms so that you can go get checked out, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe you're, you're suffering from it, yeah. but you don't yeah. know. So, so most commonly it's this kind of overall decrease in functioning that's what we tend to see uh, with men it tends to develop in late teens early 20s with women late 20s early 30s and it's this general decrease in functioning um, it's difficulty in relationships it's and then we see some specific things hallucinations hallucinations delusions um, just kind of a, a decrease in mood uh, sometimes even confused with depression um, you know, and, and other cognitive issues where people are having difficulty with relationships, it's at work, et cetera, et cetera. So it's really this complete decrease in functioning. Are, are any of the sufferers, those suffering from this disease, do, are they aware that they are suffering the disease? Or do we, uh, those of us not, maybe we're living with someone on the outside, we have to be yeah. more vigilant and more observant of these signs? You know, one of the things with any mental illness is this realization that something is happen happening to me that I don't really want to have happen. And it is common with people with schizophrenia as well. It's difficult to recognize. Um, it does take family and friends to assist in that diagnosis and treatment process. So, so what is the uh, overall message in the schizophrenia world? Are we saying, hey, go get checked out more often because you, you might have it, but you don't know you have it? Or we're really trying to raise more awareness for people who are suffering from it and let's get them more help? You know, it's kind of both. One thing we know is that if our, our, if say the first time we experience this real significant issue of hallucinations or delusions, if we receive treatment early, our outcome tends to be much, much better if we catch it early. Um, but the other thing is we want to make sure that people know there is help available. There are effective treatments. When you mentioned that you see these kind of stereotype things in the movies and such, a lot of times that's more around the possibility of untreated illness and we know that treatments work and so that's really what we want to get to. Yeah, and the first uh, step is really getting the information. Anyone out there who thinks they know someone who might be showing signs or symptoms, the website's right there on the bottom, but yeah. what should they do? Yeah, I mean, that's it. Educate yourself, reach out. NAMI can be very helpful in terms of talking through something that a family member or even in the even the individual is experiencing. So we just want folks to reach out and make sure they have the information. Rob, thank you so much. Always a great topics to talk about. Important heart, heart issues, but definitely important to talk about. We'll put a link on our website, fox13now.com. We'll be right back. <laughs>